Hello, my love. Good morning to you. I hope this finds you well. I hope that you are rested. I hope that you have time for this. I hope that you have time for your day. I hope you do not feel overwhelmed. I hope for you today, I hope that you are not overwhelmed and you have time to do something for someone else, perhaps. Something large, something small. That would be my hope for today, I suppose. Good morning to you. I was thinking about the idea that it's never too late. And this has sort of some corollaries in the idea of repair, which I've talked to you in the past. But when I say it is never too late, I mean in terms of pursuing the thing that you want to pursue. Now, there are, of course, certain physical constraints and economical constraints in what we can and cannot do at certain stages in our lives. But if there is something that you want to do, if you have a strong pull for something, do not let the stage in life that you are at stop you from pursuing that thing. I found in my life or felt or, or thought that I saw in people that they just stopped, that they sort of gave up at a certain point. Um, often very, very young, quite frankly. Life uh, undoubtedly can be difficult and is struggle, quite frankly. And I felt that the vagaries of life bore people down and so they didn't pursue the things they wanted. You know, when, when people are kids or when I was a kid and in high school and and grade school, everyone had dreams, I felt, of what they were going to do or who they would be and large ideas. And then those seemed to dissolve, in a sense, as people got older. Don't let that happen, would be my recommendation. It is okay to happen if indeed you do not want to pursue those things. That's absolutely acceptable. But the idea of just giving up on them, I, I don't recommend, especially if it is something that is truly fulfilling to you. Of course, this is easier for me to say because what I pursued in my life was writing, which is a solitary activity and does not require others. Obviously, to the extent that, that I pursued publishing and got published, that of course did require others. But the actual art, the actual thing I was doing itself did not. And that was an advantage to the thing that I love to do. But if you love to write music, if you love to make music, you can still do those things without a publishing or recording contract. If you want to make films, if you want to write plays or direct plays, you can do that. It may not be on the scale that you envisioned or dreamed of, but if it is something that actually is fulfilling to you, then, then still do it. Don't, don't let life stop you. I suppose, in a sense, is what I'm saying. You must, and here the trick is I don't know how to tell you quite to do this thing, but you must maintain that childlike wonder, that belief in yourself, or that, that sense of hope that you could actually move forward in these things, that they could indeed happen, and and why not, is the question. I always thought, in terms of my writing, and how late in the game I actually got into it, that, or at least got into it in full force. Of course, it was always part of my life um, throughout the idea of being a writer. But if someone goes to school and goes to college, and then they get a book published by the time they're 30, that's a 30-year time span that it took them to achieve that goal. And then if you remove adolescence from it, which is something we all go through together, and is not usually, unless you're, um, golly. Oh, now, I, now her name escapes me, the woman who wrote, uh, Everything escapes me. The Pony Boy, the, the, the story with Pony Boy, Stay Golden Pony Boy, you know what I'm talking about. Um, unless you're her, of course. Um, 
but even into high school, that is not usually when people write or, or form this kind of art. And so I always thought, so even I started so much later in the game, if you took someone who was 30 when they were published, that was essentially, let's say, from 18 to 30, 12 years was all it actually took to sit down and to fight through it and do it and get it done. Well, that's a 12-year time span, which is not very large. You could start that at 40. You could start that at 50. And then by 62, you may have a book published. That's just sort of how I thought about it. Again, I'm lucky because of this, the art that I had pursued in my life. But whatever it is that you pursue, I would implore you to never think that it's too late. Um, at least don't let it be too late in and of itself stop you from pursuing that thing. So, I will leave it at that. I will recommend again Poppy Ackroyd and her music, which um, just span the gamut. It, 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 and it developed over time too, which is always so wonderful with an artist. Um, but her catalog, I highly recommend. And um, before and after the book deal, should you engage in the writing and publishing world as I had um, by Courtney Mom. And I will leave it at that.